Charles here. Well, I shot an intro earlier. Actually, I've shot multiple intros over the last week. Uh, Susie was carpeting and doing other stuff, and then we got on to shiplap, and so I've just sort of delayed getting a video out, but I will. And um, it's good seeing her work behind me. Hey. Thanks for watching. Originally, this video was going to be about Susie putting the carpet, and I may include a little of that, but we got into the shiplap, and it's looking gorgeous, along with my gorgeous wife. And so I just didn't want to stop working, but mainly this episode is going to be about Susie, with a little bit of my help, getting this gorgeous shiplap on, and she's now framing here while the last full board over here, oh, it's ready. Yep. Um, it was painted, so we're going to get this last full board, and then a piece, and then we'll have this done, and then we're going to bring the this bed platform in also. I wasn't going to do that, but... I need to mark where the hole is going to be. I'm going to cut the hole for the drain for the shower. So, um, this so this video may be all over the map, but we'll we'll make some sense out of it. But it's uh, really, really, it's just a thing of beauty. And so next will be the ceiling, which will have its challenges. But do you think it'll be as hard as some of this, the ceiling? Well, we know what we're doing. Yeah, that helps we enormously. We have the right screws. We have the right technique. Yeah. So it's going to be going to hurt but yeah that up all the time but when it's over it's over and then then everything will come back in again as I've said multiple times and it gets bolted down and we're winding it up woohoo yes <laughs> it's taking a while but I'm excited yeah it looks great hi welcome to Susie's Woodshop <laughs> <laughs> I am look at the wood pile it's all down and I saved, I went through the whole pile and got the best, the bestest, longest pieces for the ceiling because the ceiling's going to take eight to ten long pieces. And we don't want these flaws because other places you can cut out the flaws to make the little pieces. So I have ten of those saved over there. Uh, two of them are not perfect. Why not why? But um, to buy a perfect board is like impossible. So uh, we got this. This is uh, for an outlet. <laughs> And we gotta cut, we're going to cut a hole right here. We're excited. Yeah. I'm excited because the one wall is almost in. Yeah. Cut the yeah. hole. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Well, we, when, we, when I put this board on, I was like, oh, that board is sticking out. It's going to take up room in our hallway, aisle way, and let's cut out the board and shove it up against the side of the van to make it even more sturdy when we're driving. Right. You were dancing there a second ago. <laughs> look, look, all we have two pieces, two short pieces here, and two or three pieces yeah. here, mm -hmm. and we're done with one side. Yeah. And then we got to put a thing around the window, right. and that side is done. we got to touch up some of those places. Okay, so, wait, this will be thus. See, I was wanting you to do it up here. So it's not, see, look, it's hanging down below. Well, it, it will have something to go into. It'll be the next. Centered, dead centered. It's okay, it's, it's too late now. No, I can just get another No, board. I don't, no, no, it's fine. If you say it'll work, it'll work. We'll make it work. Okay, let's see how it fits around the, um, the, You don't want to see? No. I just cut a little bit at a time. So if you can never add wood, but you can always take it away. Here she goes, more. Oh, this is the most important screw in the whole project. Screw right here because it's the last one on this wall. And here it goes. Oh, and it's a spinner. Oh, well. <laughs> when they spin, we discovered, or I discovered, well, we discovered, if they just spin and spin, you got some problems. It might be your pilot hole's too big. It might be you don't even need a pilot hole, and I discovered that. Um, so I would use this guy, this guy, countersink, and they come in sets. You can get different sizes. It's short, so it doesn't go all the way through, so your screw can really grab hold of the wood. Um, 
so I was just using this and not doing a uh, pilot hole at all, and it worked better. But sometimes the board is far away, and the reason the board is far away is the the van goes uh, like that, kind of out in the side. So the boards have to learn have to learn to <laughs> give. Can I? I'll, I'll say it's one of the most important screws because we still have the other side. Yeah. We have to bolt in things, but it's very important. I'm going to make a frame for the window. Yeah. Just okay. plain and simple, nothing fancy. Well, I would like to shake your hand. You Thank you. Nice wall. Way to uh, go. Yeah, we got to scoot it up, but it right. doesn't look like it. It looks like it's too tall, but... No, it's not. The way I measured, it's not. So, so yeah. and yet another reason why I am wrong on this, because if I had put it where Charles wanted it, it would be up higher. Oh, wait, wait. Let's get it close up. <laughs> Let's get it closer. What, what, what are you saying, hon? Let's get in focus. So see, his foot is going to put raise and lower that. Yeah, I don't think it will. We may end up having to replace that board. I don't know. No. Anyway. Ah! Don't fall. <laughs> I just about did. So here's our lovely... So there it is, and there's the Isn't it nice so mattress. Cool? It is very nice, and you're, you're still thinking about uh, accent colors and things. And they, we should sometime bring out the uh, material so they can see what you're going to make the covers, subcovers, but we'll do that right now. Actually, the fabric. Okay, whatever I said. My PE teacher says materials could be building materials. Oh, there's Not one in PE, every... I mean, my home ec teacher. Oh, thank you for sharing that detail of your life. About 50 years ago. Okay, I'm going to take a nap and you can, you can worry about <laughs> this gonna, side here. I'm going to make this board. This should... Oh, wow, that should go fast. It should really go fast, so... I can. I'll probably have this all done by the time you wake up. Okay. From your little nap. Alrighty. Did you want to say anything else about that switch and the position? I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Okay. She's working on the first piece. Ta -da. Ta -da. We got this wall. Now I see a flaw, but I think it'll be covered. Um, we're gonna. We have a gap here, and normally, I mean, I wouldn't care about it, but little things. The bed's gonna come right up to it. Things can get caught back in there. I think I'll just do this. Trim it. And uh, uneven. I gotta fix that. So what I did over here, when it was uneven, I would glue a little flat like that and then glue that. So tell them what we found out about when you're doing a small piece like this. What does it require above? The last piece, I think, no matter what it is, the last piece, you're going to have to loosen all three pieces kind of to get pre it in there. And then pre-assemble and push out. Yeah, there's no way to get this last piece in with just moving these two pieces. Right. It has to come out farther so I can bend in. So we just use we the we'll tell them about why we don't like the screws we got. We're going to go back to the originals. Yeah, the Spax screws are best. I love the Spax because they have a star. Um, well, the bit. others are Spax too. A star. Well, yeah. But they were star Phillips. Star bit is way better than a Phillips bit. You probably already know that, but they drive straight in. I don't know, the ones we got, either they were defective or what, but... No, no, it th the Torx does better, every time. Yeah, they they were a pain to put in. In fact, we have plenty of the Phillips, but we're going to go buy some more of the Star. Because they're going to be really frustrating up on the ceiling. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, I don't even want to think about that. I know. Right now, I'm going to do the window frames and right. let Trimming. my arms think about the ceiling. Yeah, and we got a big storm coming in a while, but we, yeah. we're blessed to get some... All of a sudden, it's sunny. It wasn't supposed to be. Yeah. So. I mean, we can do it in yeah, the rain. Yeah, right. Well, it's a thing of beauty, and I'm proud of you. Thanks. And you're a beauty. Thanks. <laughs> well, we've had all kinds of weather today, but it was nice and sunny when we finished. It was all lit up. It's so bright. I, I, I think on Instagram I said, don't worry, we will put splashes of color in because it looks like a surgical suite. I know that. Um, but it's not dark. Right, that's for sure. And then when we get all these lights going. Um, so there's not a lot of tools you need for the shiplap. For the shiplap.
This we use uh, we use SPACs most of the time inch and a quarter. Some places she used an inch and a half because. Um. Well, I'm not sure how we're going to do the roof. We made a different. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oops! I just bought these. Anyway, we'll yeah. find that out. We just, she just snapped lines. She's now cogitating about making things fit. And then we've got these, with their, if you're familiar with Max Air fans or Vince, they have what's called a garnish ring. So they're not fitting exactly like they would normally because of the way we've got the wood structures. But she's making it fit. Uh, but let's get back to this. The, the transit is very contoured. That's why we had a little difficulty, but we got it, mounting the windows. So, as a result, that's why you had to put in longer screws, because... Yeah, in some places, the boards were out farther because of how it bends. Right. Of course, you need to watch out for the wires. I, mean, I knew where, where they were. Um, and it's just a matter of, um, you want to get... Now, yeah, don't screw into the wires. That's true. But also, she used a, we bought a, a set of Ryobi um, countersinks, and you found that you really didn't have to pre-drill with a separate, you know. Well, and they say you don't have to use no pre-drilling. At all. So. They got a good bite. Now and then you had, she had a little trouble with them spinning in there, but there's so many. I mean, Well, that's when I made the pilot holes. Right. And so now, I mean, we've already gone through one box of 240. And we've got a ways to go up here. I don't know how many boards did you figure, roughly? Uh, ten for the top. For the ceiling. Long one. Yeah. Ten. So we've been saving pieces as we go. We're being very picky right now. Probably twelve or thirteen. Yeah, about what we're going to use because it's you know it's really going to be seen a lot by us and now annoy us. We're pretty happy with how they they all lined up. She's got the trim almost done here, and it looks wonderful. Um, we ended up in one place a little, it's not quite as close against the carpet, but you just can't babysit perfection, that's for sure. So, um, any words of advice about cutting? I know what you should say. <laughs> Measure five times and cut once. Right. And Unless it, you're independently wealthy. And she used cardboard and paper to kind of make a template and one of those shaper things. Yeah, the, the once you, after the top board it's easy, but... These ribs, I count, I cut out the wood to fit up in there closer. And she would rather make five extra trips and just nibble away just to get it just right. Because you can think, oh, this this rib here, it, it's going to be cut the same as there, and nothing is the same. I mean, If you cut out too far, it's going to show yeah. when you put the other board on. There'll be a big gap. And so do you have it figured out what's going to happen on the angle? Well, I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully. Right. It would be great though. Today's Tuesday. It'd be great if we could ceiling done by this weekend, maybe. Yeah. I think so. He lives in a dream world. Oh. oh, the ceiling? Yeah. Oh, just the ceiling? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, chalk on your nose. Yeah, because we were snapping lines. Um, so, yeah. So I mean, it's not that. It's not rocket science. It's just you know, everyone, everyone. You're going to attach them in different ways, uh, depending on how you made a structure on the walls but uh we made it pretty simple and you can see it in that time lapse and um i think that's kind of it uh i we filmed some other things as we were doing it so you should have already seen that because we're at the end of the video now <laughs> um but uh, we're really really happy with how it looks i'm going to get emotional <laughs> it just looks beautiful want to sleep out here tonight i don't know and i'm, I'm getting used to the switch over there <laughs> Would you like to finish the video? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.